Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and of course, everything technology related. Today, guess what I got? That's what I, yeah, that's what I got. The two terabyte, the brand new, brand spanking new, two terabyte Apple time capsule. Um, for those of you who don't know what the time capsule is, the time capsule is a router, uh, 802.11n, which is the new spec, um, which is not official yet. It's still in draft form, but it's supposed to be official uh, this fall sometime. So they'll probably have an, uh, a firmware update for that. But anyway, what this thing does is it's called the time capsule. And as I said, it's a router, but it has a hard drive inside of it, which allows you to uh, sync your, your, your Macs in your house and um, with the time capsule and use Time Machine to back up directly to this baby right here. So what we're going to do right now is just do an unboxing. I'm going to go over a little of the features it has. It has 802.11n, as I said, um, but it has its dual channel, which means it has 5 gigahertz frequency and a 2.4 gigahertz frequency. So you can have two frequencies running at the same time. So if you want, like, for you can have, you can split up your network, like all the short range stuff can go on the 5 gigahertz range and the long range stuff can go on the 2.4, which uh, helps tra alleviate traffic on the network, which is really nice. Um, other things. It uh, you know it works on Windows and and, and Mac of course but the Time Machine feature is specifically for OS 10 OS 10 obviously and uh, the new version um, this goes for about 4.99 uh, with before tax the the two terabyte model the one terabyte model goes for around two nine two ninety nine um, they dropped the five hundred gig model when they just updated this yesterday and I was lucky enough to get one of these today uh, they had just got them into the Apple Store just when I walked in and uh, today was the first day that they had them so lucky enough to have one um, so I'm gonna unbox it and uh, let's get cracking so we're gonna take my knife my trusty knife here and uh, unbox this if I can get this I don't wanna hurt myself there we go alright so we got that I'm gonna just cut the plastic off and I'm just gonna show you the box I know you guys love unboxings so uh, I'm just gonna get this off Take everything off here. Put this in the trash. I'm gonna bring the box over to you, so you guys can take a look. Um, two terabyte model, as you can see, two terabytes. Uh, the back. You can see all the ports. Four Ethernet, USB, uh, power, and uh, that's about it. They're gigabit ports, by the way. And uh, let me bring this back over here, and we'll open it up carefully. Oh, look, it comes out like this, I guess. Woo! Take this box over here. All right, as as, of you, as usual, it says designed by Apple in Cal California, most likely assembled in China, though, um, as most things are. So how do we get this part? Oh, of course, it has the little. Slice, and uh, we're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna bring the camera down for a second, so you guys can see this. Hope you don't get motion sickness. Um, here we go. So here it is. Here's the device itself. Compl this is uh just unboxed. As you can see, the Apple logo. All right, I'm gonna put this down for a second. Take it out. Very nice design, very sleek. Um, typical Apple packaging and design of the product. Get this out. Drop that on the floor for now. As I mentioned, the four Ethernet ports on the back, USB. These are gigabit ports, by the way, and power. Here's the power cable. Yeah, there's not much to this unboxing other than, you know, here's the manual, I guess, and the discs. It has software before connecting, which I guess is airport utility and some other stuff, probably. So, that's that. Apple, time machine. I'm time capsule, I'm sorry. Uh, two gigabyte model, can't wait to test it out. In terms of using it for, um... My router, I probably won't use it as my router yet. I haven't decided. 
Um, I'm probably just going to use it mainly for backing up my Mac Pro as well as my MacBook Pro, my new MacBook Pro. Uh, I've had experience with data loss before in the past and I can tell you it's not something you want to deal with. Um, so to me, this is a worthwhile investment. So that way, I don't have to worry about data loss in the in the past, uh, in the future, because I've had I've had I've had issues in the past um, where I thought I had beta, data backed up when I actually didn't. So it's always important to back up. Stress can't stress it enough. Um, that's about it. This is the Apple time capsule, two terabyte model. Uh, I'll do a review on it. Uh, as soon as I have time to mess with it a little bit more, obviously I haven't really plugged it in or anything yet. So, uh, review is going to be coming up, I guess, in the coming weeks, as soon as I have more time with it. And uh, I'll let you know what I think about it. So, brand new. This is brand new. Keep, uh, keep an eye out for the review, and uh, we'll see you next time. And remember, you guys can always come by live.besttaken.net, join the chat room, join the forums at besttaken.net slash forums, email me, jeff at besttaken.net or besttaken, besttaken.net. Until next time, we'll see you. And remember, remember, take care of your computers and back up your data. Don't do that.